videos have been filmed in sections so you can get to grips in each section before you move on to the next part. Don't try and do the whole piece at the same time because they're quite long. If you have any questions, please email us at info at pilgrimharps.co.uk or visit our website www.pilgrimharps.co.uk and make sure to tag us in your final videos at Pilgrim Harps. We're on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Good luck. So first things first, you need to get into the right key. So you need to put your A's, B's and E levers up. A, B, E levers up. So you're in C major. Okay, so this is the first part to coffee. We're going to do the first two bars. So you're going to start on the E above middle C with your second finger and thumb on the A. You're going to play two, one, one. Now, once you've played that two, you're going to move it up to the G. And then play two, one again. Then you're going to hop up. So the two goes to the A and your thumb goes to the C. So you've got E, A, A, G, A, move. Okay, so before you play the C, you need to put fingers two and three on B and A. Because you're gonna do a little run. So you've got two, one, one. Two, one, two, jump. One, two, three. Before you play the third, you're going to link up to a thumb on E and you're going to play one, A, A. And you're going to swap the second finger. So one, two, three. Swapping the finger means you don't get buzzing. It, it's nicer for your fingers and it sounds nicer. So you've got two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. now practice those links because the quicker you can link the quicker you'll be able to play later bars three and four right hand now they start exactly the same so your e a a g a a one two three stays exactly the same and then you're going to go second finger on a First finger on B and you're going to go two, one, two. So make sure you place before you play the thumb. That whole section sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. The whole of line one, right hand only. One, two, three, four, Five, six. The next part's really easy, so it's exactly the same as the first two bars. So your E A A G A A, that bit repeats exactly the same. So we're now going to skip ahead to the last two bars of the second line. You've got one, two, three on C, B, A, then A, B, A. So you're going to link those just by jumping, repeating the second finger where that third finger was. One, two, three, two, one, two. You're then going to turn, so you've just done your A, B, and you're going to put the thumb on a G, while your second finger is on the A, play the A and you're going to move down with your second and third to E and a D. So you've got one, two, three, hop, turn, and you're going to link up the A right before you've played your third finger with the thumb. One, two, three, four, five, six. What you can 
do now is practice that right hand building up the speed because eventually you'll get to something like this. So now for the left hand, I'm going to play this in my right hand just so you can see what I'm doing. But your left hand, you start on the A below middle C and you're going to play the E above middle C in your thumb. So two and one. Two, one, one. Second bar, you're then going to link. So it starts the same. So you're going to play an A again. But before you play your thumb, you're going to move the second finger to the C, play your thumb, and then play the C. So those first two bars go A, E, E, A, E, C. The third bar is exactly the same as the first bar, A, E, E. And then you're going to move down to E, B, B. So think just below the colours. So that whole little bit goes there, like this. One, two, one, two. Hands together. So you've got you're going to hover with the left hand so you can't put your thumb down just yet because you're about to play the E and the A so the second fingers together so you're going to do a little bit of hopping that's quite tricky so work on that when you're happy with that you're going to add another thumb with the second finger G on G on so E and G together the first bar sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Moving on to the next bar. So you've got your A, E, C. So we're just going to do the A, E to begin with. You're going to play them the bottom, the bottom finger, so second finger with this top finger, C, thumb. motion to each other. Together, together, right. Together, together, right. So adding that onto the first bit, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Next nice little bit, you've got, and that's with your C. So thumb with the C. First two bars, hands together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bars three and four, hands together. Happily, they start the same. So bar, bar three and one are exactly the same. You're then going to jump down in your left hand to the E and the B. So just practice that until you're happy. Jump down. Last little bit, A, B, A with another B. So the last bar sounds like this. the bars individually until you're really happy then you can try the whole thing all the way through but add little bits together so try bars one and then bars two then bars two and bars three then bars one two and three and then bars one two three and four don't try and do one to four straight away make sure you get into a little flow but this is the whole of the first line hands together one two three four five six
second line hands together. So it starts exactly the same. So the first two bars are exactly the same as the, the, the first two bars of the piece. Now the last two bars, so bars seven and eight, you're going to do, play a D and an A below middle C in your left hand. D and an A. Then you're going to move up to an E and a B. Then you're going to go slightly smaller to an A and a C. And then back to the A. So make sure you place that. So A, put it back on as you play the C. That stops the buzz. Okay, so your left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is bars seven and eight, hands together. So you've got your C, B, A, and the first two notes in the left hand are gonna be D and A. So together, together, right hand on its own. So you're working outwards, inwards. Then you're moving up one in the left hand to E and a B down to your A, B, A in the right hand. So together, together, right hand on its own. So that's bar sounds like this. Four, five, six. Now's the tricky bit. You've got your turn. So just practice the hands together and then moving on and just continuing with your right hand. Okay, when you're happy with that, you just practice that last bar. So you've got an A and a C in the bottom. So it's going to be together, together, right together. Those last two bars hands together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can try and play the whole of that second line hands together. So, four, five, six. section now, hands together. Four, five, six. to line three now, right hand. So you're going to put your fourth finger on the A below middle C, third finger on C, second finger on E, thumb on G, four, three, two, one. Before you play the one, you are going to move that second finger underneath to the A, and then you're going to play the A and the C with the thumb, the second finger and the thumb. It's going to sound like this. Before we play that C at the top, we're going to put two and three back down into a little scale. So you're going to play one, two, three, C, B, A. But before you play the A, you're going to put your thumb on the G. Like you're doing a scale. So going from the start of that, we've got four, three, two, one, two, one, two, three. 
once you're hanging on the G with your thumb, you're going to move down and put your second finger on the E, third finger on a D and fourth finger back on the A. So it's a bit like an A7 because you've got seven notes between the outsides. A7 squishy in the middle. So we've got from the top of that CBA. Place the G, play the A, put the three fingers at the bottom down before you play that G. It's all about placing. Placing helps you get speed. The third bar is exactly the same as the first bar. So before you play that, that, that A at the bottom, Place the C, E and G back on, A, C, E, G. So you've got an A7 chord there. Going underneath to the A again, C, B, A again. But this time we're going to come off, we're not going to turn and we're just going to repeat the A. So the second time round you've just got A, C, E, G, A, C, B, A, A. So that whole first line, right hand, sounds like this. The left hand to the first line is much easier than the first section. So you've got A and an E in your left hand. I'm going to play it in my right hand just so you can see. And your the A below the A below middle C, so you're all the way down here. You've got two of those, A and an E. And then you're going to move down to a G and a D and you've got two of those. That's it, that's your left hand. So now we're going to try and put that hands together. So you've got A and an E with the bottom fourth finger. With your thumb, you're going to play another A and an E. Moving down to a G and a D with the bottom finger, with the bottom fourth again. And another G, G and a D, another chord with the top finger. So it's always with the fourth or the thumb at the top, the chord. One. Three, four, five, six. Practice them in half half lines. So the first ascending and the descending passage, and then the second and descending that passage, and then put them hands together. Last line, right hand starts exactly the same as the third line. So you've got your A, C, E, G. Moving under to the A, but you're going to reach to a D this time, not to the C, to the D. Now we're going to practice that second bar. So starting with your thumb on the D. You're going to put, place your second finger on C, third finger on A, fourth finger on G. Play them descending. Before you play the G, you're going to put your D back on because that bar's going to repeat. So put them all back on again. So it's going to sound like this. really quick with those placing. Place all three fingers together. Try not to do this because that helps. It doesn't help with your accuracy. Fingers are friends. They move together. Okay, so from the first bar. Last bar, I like to do something a little bit jumpy. So you're going to jump down with your second finger. Two, three, two, one. Put the two and the one on before you play that third. It's a little bit hard because you've got to jump 
straight to that E from that descending passage. But sounds really nice. So try and do that without linking it. So you've got all of that line, right hand. Four, five, six. So now we've got left hand, left hand, sticking to those E's and G, uh, A's and E's and then G's and D's. Okay, so have a little practice of that left hand and when you're feeling happy and there's no, no buzzing. Like that. You can try and put them hands together. Bar one hands together, super easy. It's exactly the same as the first, first bar in the first line. When you get to that D, you're going to play the G and the D in the bottom. Then you're going to put, play the A and the E. So you've got together, right, left, right, right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So those first three bars sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last bar, E with the E, so moving down to an E and a B, and E with the E up here, so second finger with the E, second finger with the E chord, finishing on an A with the A chord. So that whole last line, hands together, sounds like this. Four, five, six. So those last two lines you're aiming for them to sound something like this. so you can pause them when you get to a good point in your learning. Don't try and do the whole video at the same time because they're quite long songs. But if you'd like to see download the music to help you, it's available at www.pilgrimharps.co.uk. Good luck!